Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. <clears throat> welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Now, we're going to talk about something I get asked all the time, okay? Okay? How to tie your hair up high with tape and hair extensions. Now, honestly, you guys, this is so easy. And how people don't know how to tie up their hair really mind boggles me. So I really hope this tutorial helps you. If it does, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what else you're struggling with. And I would love to make a tutorial or some sort of video on whatever it is hair related that you are struggling with. Without further ado, let's head in to this tutorial. Okay, jumping straight into things right now. I currently have tape and hair extensions in my hair and they were installed about three weeks ago. Now, as tape ins grow out, the easier it is to put up your hair. When you first get them installed, it is very hard and it does give you a little bit of a headache when you put your hair up. So what I would recommend when you first get them installed, just to have your hair low, put it in like a low bun, a low pony. You can even go like mid, but when you go up high, like a high Ariana Grande ponytail, that is when it's really hard to put your hair up high when you just got them installed. I don't know why, but I feel like having greasy hair helps make my extensions hide a little better. I, I don't even know I should tell you guys how much I wash my hair. <laughs> okay, are you ready to throw up? I only wash my hair probably twice a week at most. I am so lazy when it comes to my hair. I hate styling it fun fact and I hate washing it just I hate I don't hate styling my hair I really enjoy styling it but I hate styling it from when it's wet because I feel like it's so much work and I don't want to be bothered and do that all the time so I would rather have some hairstyles that I can flop between that I know is gonna tide me with that one day extra <laughs> until I can actually have time to sit down and wash my hair okay Greasy hair, check. Tapins, grown out about three weeks, check. Dry shampoo, check. All right, so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna be going in with some dry shampoo. Honestly, any dry shampoo works. I have Batiste, hey, this one is the bomb. I love this one. It's drugstore, it's the only drugstore product I will ever, ever, ever allow anybody to buy, but Honestly, I got a hand to them. They got good dry shampoo. <laughs> this one is pretty cool as well. This is the Amica Hydrating Dry Shampoo Foam. Now, this is a foam. This one, honestly, is a little bit more difficult to put into your hair, but you know, it can still be done. What I do with this guy, I literally just spray a foam clump in my hair, mush it around, blow dry it, and boom, I have fantastic hair. This will hold me off a lot longer than this one will. I still get greasy in this in like, I don't know, the next day. This one can hold me off about two days. Okay, moving right along here, I am just going to start moving all of my hair towards the back of my head and start just running my fingers through my hair and just trying to comb all the tape-in hair extensions uh, tabs. <laughs> and I'm just going to start moving my fingers through my hair and I am just going to move the tape-in tabs up so that they are all faced in the right direction and just moving my fingers throughout my hair. Okay, the moment we've all been waiting for. Dun, da, da. Um, the four bristle tail comb. <laughs> this is the shit for hiding extensions in ponytails. This will be your best friend forever and always all right all right all right so what i'm gonna do literally i want like a snatched pony today so i'm literally just gonna start 
taking all of my baby hairs and all of that random hair and literally just start keep in mind how your extensions are installed and how your extensions are placed in your head will determine how your ponytail sits. So make sure when you are at your hairstyles and they're installing them, you tell them that you wanna wear your hair up high because when I'm installing them, if clients tell me that they wear their hair up high often, I install them totally different. So please let your stylist know that that is what you want because it will really determine on how they place your extensions in your head. Now, another key when you're slicking back everything is to make sure that whatever hand is holding your ponytail, you have really tight tension so that you can make sure every little baby hair is slayed in place because of your tension. You to feel like you're literally getting a facelift and like everything's getting pulled back. Like that's how much tension you want in your hair. If you're like tight, like do you see the difference? You know, you want, like, I feel like, whew. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this tape pin right here. It is sticking up. So there's always a couple that stick out. So what I like to do is I like to take this hair that's um, over here. I push this one, my tape pin down, and I simply just place it over top, take my comb, and then run it along and it's completely hidden. Okay, we can finally put the elastic on. So I just say choose an elastic color that is closest to your hair color just so it makes the elastic not pop out as much and then tie it tight. Your girl has a ton of tape in extensions in her hair right now and like for reals, I'm like doing it three times and like that's really hard, <laughs> really hard. <laughs> okay, so we finally have it up. Now the only thing I would say is you can see them a little bit I mean, for me personally, it's not the end of the world. I don't care. Every girl on that block has extensions in her head. So the only other thing I could suggest would be to have a eyeshadow palette and then just fill in whatever color is closest to your root color. Uh, just fill in right around the actual tapins. But other than that, honestly, you can't see them that much. Unless you look really closely, you can see them. and. I'm totally okay with that. Now, the darker your hair color, the easier it will be to blend your extensions. Now, for blondies out there, I almost said us. <laughs> I ain't a blondie no more. Ooh, should I bring blonde Abby back? 2K19. <laughs> um, I don't know. Now for the blondes out there, I'm really sorry, but you gotta just maneuver those little hairs <laughs> around them. I mean, it is a lot harder as a blonde to throw your hair up because uh, you can just see everything a little bit more. Everything is a little bit more enhanced when you're blonde. So girl, if you are blonde, I'm so sorry, but take it and just fiddle with every little strand until they're on your head. <laughs> now, once you have this all up, take your hairspray and just literally start slaying down any other hair that is on top. So you don't want it to look frizzy, you don't want it to look like, you know, nasty. You want it to be like, Notice how I'm spraying my hair. I am literally spraying my, this part, 
I sprayed this part. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take my can and my hand and run it over. What that does is the can smooths out any baby hairs and my hand kind of pats it and puts pressure on it that A, it's not gonna move nowhere <laughs> and B, for on top of my extensions, it kind of puts, puts <sighs> it kind of pushes my hair on top of my extension so it's pretty much invisible. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Now, to finish off this pony, now to finish off this pony, you have two options. A, hair accessory, B, hair. <laughs> you can throw a scrunchie in and pop it up, so cute. I don't feel like a scrunchie today, so you know what I'm gonna do? Wrap my hair around it. So, what I'm gonna do is literally pull only the very top pieces of my pony and just pull this part up. What that does is it allows my hair to stick up and down as opposed to just flat back. Okay, so I'm gonna take a piece of hair that's kind of hidden around the back, take this hair and literally just wrap it right around my ponytail, making sure that it is smooth because you don't want any knots. So I have about this much hair left, so all I'm gonna do is take my bobby pin, place it on my hair, like so, and then take this part and shove it into my elastic. And I'm gonna take one more to make sure it is secure. Now the only thing left to do is just curl the ends. Okay, so I just have curled my ponytail and all I'm gonna do is just kinda fluff it up, kinda mess it up, and then literally instead of it splitting in half, just take a little piece, back comb it together, and then voila, boom. High ponytail tape in hair extensions, mm. <laughs> so, if you have tapins, you can throw your hair up, girl, wait three weeks, get a can of hairspray, get this comb. By the way, this comb is from Chatters. <laughs> they have it at the hair suppliers, they have it at Chatters, they literally have it anywhere, so go buy it. <laughs> if you like this hair tutorial, please give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me and yeah. I'm like feeling this pony, I love it. I feel like I can slay the world, just like Beyonce. <laughs> Catch you in the next one, guys. Peace.